Well, hello everybody, and you're all very welcome along to today's training. My name is Neil O'Brien, and in the next half hour or so, I'm going to show you how you can increase the profits in your accountancy practice by 64% without getting any new clients. Now, that may seem an extraordinary claim. Now, where is that 64% coming from? That is the average increase in the profits of the businesses that I've worked with in the last 12 months, and many of them have been accountancy practices. So... What I'd encourage you to do is grab a pen and paper, um, switch off email, switch off your phone, and I have to say I'm really, really excited about the content I'm going to show you in the next 30 minutes because there's lots and lots of ideas in there, and you know I'm very, very confident that the ideas in here can help your accountancy business, so they can help you grow your fees increase your profits and put more money in your bank account and make your life so much easier. So um, guys, I think you're in for a little bit of a treat. So, um, okay, I'm gonna crack on. Now, I'm a business owner just like yourself and if you're anything like the 950 plus businesses that I've worked with over the last 27 years, then you're probably very focused on growing your sales through getting new clients and that can be hard work. Okay, so the great news for you is you can stop worrying about growing your sales through getting new clients because I'm going to show you how you can grow your fees and your profits by at least 64% in the next 12 months with the same clients you have at the moment. Now that is the brilliant thing about the approach that I've developed over the years and we've developed is that it's all about growing and maximizing the current clients and customers you have. Um, going out there getting new clients can be difficult. This is all about maximizing the current clients you have and um, that's why this whole approach is, is brilliant. It's so good. Okay. Now, people are a bit incredulous when I talk about accountants. And I've worked with dozens of accountants helping them grow their profits. So, you know, the term is boss man's holiday. You know, how can an accountant have a profit gap? Accountants are dealing in numbers all day, every day. And how can an accountant have this big gap in their profits? Well, to me, there's a couple of reasons for it. I mean, one is a bit like, you know, if you often hear if you go into a carpenter's house, their doors are hanging off or the mechanic's car you know his engine can be clapped out because if they're working on it all day the last thing they want to do is go home and work on it now there's a little element of that but i think the biggest factor of all is that every single business i've worked with over the years over 950 businesses all had a profit gap accountancy businesses are no different uh, and they have a profit gap too so to me it's no mystery but i know people are uh, a bit surprise taken aback when they hear it first so now these are the issues that i see facing the accountants that i've worked with i've also done a lot of surveys on this so these are the issues that i see cropping up all the time and these may be familiar to you especially in the last six or seven years a lot of clients have gone out of business so have a lot of your clients gone out of business which means the fees are gone uh, even those who survive quite often are looking for reduced fees their own income is down they're struggling uh, they're looking for negotiating lower fees, um, trying to get paid. Cash flow is something that I'm seeing with quite a lot of accountants I've worked with in the last year or two. It's, it's kind of a surprising one at first for some people thinking an accountant could have cash flow problems, but I've seen it quite a bit. Uh, client retention, which is keeping your existing clients, even those that survived the, the downturn. Attracting new clients and how to market your business. It's a big, big challenge for accountants because you know, for years they never had to do it or think about it, but now the whole landscape has changed. So it's a real challenge. So what I'm going to cover today is how you can increase your fees and your profits using the power of 8020. Now, this is me, Neil O'Brien. My business is Quantum Business Solutions, and I've been an accountant for over 27 years. Uh, I trained as a management accountant. I uh, worked in the UK, in the US, and Ireland. Now, for the last 23 years, I've worked as a consultant and trainer, and I've worked with over 950 businesses, and I've helped them increase their profits using 80-20 techniques. Now, the thing about my approach is that I get paid on results, okay? I get paid from the future profits I get from working with my clients. So it's not a kind of fixed fee thing. I get paid based on the profits, extra profits I get from my clients. So I, uh, what I do has to work. I have to get results for clients to get paid, and which is a great system for my clients because it's it's win-win all round. 
Now, here's just a couple of testimonials from accountants I've worked with. Only Han uh, is with more more Stevens Natans. They're a global accountancy firm. I've done some work with them uh, in recent years. Uh, you can just see the testimonial there. I won't I won't read it out. Um, and another one here from Fergal Collins. He's a partner in Buckley Kiley Accountants, um, who's just recommending me, and I did work with them as well. So they're just two examples of the the many accountants that I've worked with over the years. Now. What I've learned, okay, in today's economy, accountants must be open to looking at new ways to grow their business. For the reasons I outlined, or outlined earlier on, accountants are struggling. Many accountancy practices are struggling. Their fees have dropped six or seven years ago, and they're still recovering. Many people I'm working with, their fees now are lower than they were seven years ago. They're coming back slowly, but they're still lower. When I meet them first, their fees, they're struggling. Okay, now accountants I've worked with, they have no idea that they have a profit gap in their business. The same as most of the other businesses I work with, they don't actually realize that there's a profit gap in their business. Now, traditional accounting reports do not show that you have this profit gap. Now, this is in no way a criticism of accountants. It's just traditional accounting is designed to show you what happened before and it's you know it's very useful information for businesses but it doesn't show the gap that exists and i'm going to show you a bit more about this in a moment so 99 percent of the businesses who come to us have never looked at their company through an 80 20 lens and we're leaving hundreds of thousands of hidden profits on the table so we have an 80 20 lens we've lots of ways, ways of identifying profit gaps in every business now here are just some recent results of people I've worked with in the last 12 months. Now, the first company, we've helped increase their net profit by 114,000. Now, that was an extra 54% on top of their existing profit. So, I have to say, all these businesses we work with are profitable when we start working with them, but we just take their profit onto another level. The second company, we helped grow their annual profits by 236,000 euros. Now that was an increase of 94% on their profits from the previous year. And another example is a company we've worked with and their net profit is up by 417,000 euros uh, in the last year. Now that, it's actually over 100%. That, that figure has even gone higher since um, I prepared a slide. So, I mean, looking at those figures, they are pretty extraordinary and I use that word quite a bit because they are extraordinary results and you know sometimes I have to pinch myself when I look at these and say you know are these real but they are real and we've loads of satisfied clients and you know we get amazing results for our clients and uh, the proof is there in black and white um, so really the goal really is to help you look at your business and your accountancy practice through an 80-20 lens and help you determine how big your current profit gap is because you may not realize it but as far as I'm concerned every single business I work with has a profit gap and there's money they're leaving on the table and um, as far as I'm concerned yours is no different until we prove, prove otherwise yours is no different now I appreciate that can be hard for owners to accept and for accountants to accept and again this is in no way a criticism uh, of your business um, I suppose it's just you know we've got unique knowledge that we've built up over the years and you know if you came into my business it's possible you could look at my business and pick holes in it and, and look for opportunities in there quite possibly and when I go into your business I've got a fresh pair of lens and it's like putting on a new pair of glasses I can spot opportunities that it's probably difficult for you to spot because you're so close to it. And we, we have that specialist knowledge. We've developed really good templates and they're they're evolving all the time. And I swear, I just get so excited about the work we do because every client we work with, sometimes there's a new little nuance or angle we take and that goes into our templates. So the next company we work with, you know, can be getting even better results and it's constantly evolving like that. Um, and, you know, I'll repeat again, I think as far as I'm concerned, every single accountancy practice, whether you're working by yourself or you've 10 staff or 20 or even 100 or 150, I am very, very confident that I could help you grow your fees and profits regardless of what size you are. Um, so what we we'll cover again is the influence that 8020 has on your business and the problems and opportunities that that creates. The five most important things you must know to tap into the hidden profits in your business 
Again, do you have a profit gap and how big is it? And how to get those hidden profits out of your business and into your bank account. And that is, again, our, our sole focus is on profits. It's not about growing your sales, necessarily just getting new clients, but it's about growing your fees and your profits. And the great thing about our approach is that the increase in your fees is going to go straight to your bottom line because your costs are not going to change. The stuff we do does not generally increase costs. Your costs are your costs. We're all about maximizing the fees and your profits in your business. So I'd encourage you to stay until the end because you'll have a special opportunity uh, to speak with me privately about how I can personally help increase your fees and profits in the next 12 months. Okay, so I'll go into it in a little bit of detail, our, our, I suppose, our overall approach. We start off with recovery. Now that's the difference between, I'm sure you're an accountant, you're well familiar with recovery. You have clocked up 3,000 euros, dollars, whatever, on a client, how much gets charged? Now, what I'm seeing with people I work with is that there's normally a gap between the work you put into a client and what you should be billing them and what actually gets billed. So that 3,000 um, that should be billable to the client, the actual bill can be 2,500, it can be two. That percentage varies depending on the, the, what I've seen is the size of the practice. Typically speaking, the bigger practices are better at recovery. Now, again, from the research I've done in this area and people I've worked with, what I've seen is that the recovery of a practice with 10, 20, 50, 100 staff, it is generally in the range of 80 to 85 percent. Now, smaller practices, it can be 60 or 70 percent. So there's opportunities, but the way I look at that is there's opportunities for, for all those. If you're at 70 percent, Okay, I accept it may never get to 100%. That may not be practical. But the question really I think you should be asking yourself is, what can I get it to? So whether you're at 70% at the moment, or 75, or 80, or even 85, what can you get it to? And even talking to the bigger practices, you know, from stories they've told me about clients and so on, I've no doubt in my mind that it can be improved. So what can you get your recovery to? And again, I'm, I'm totally convinced that every single accountancy practice out there can improve their fees and their recovery. And a lot of it is to do with the communication with their clients about what the clients get, what they're paying for, what they get, and so on. 80-20, growing your fees to do more work for your existing profitable clients. An example now in just a moment about that. This is a huge untapped area for accountants. And you know, there's so much more. There's so much more can be done in this area. And I have a good example in a moment. Now, value premium is the third thing we do. Now, think of an example that you save 20,000 for a client. Now, I've seen cases where accountants bill a client 500 euros and they've saved them 20 or 30,000 in tax. Now, my question is, does that 500 euros reflect the value that you've delivered to your client? And clearly to me, it does not. So there are opportunities for accountants to charge a value premium, a premium to reflect the value of the work because the client has only got that result because of the knowledge and experience that you've brought to the situation. Though I know it's not possible in all aspects and the, say the annual accounts and a lot of the routine stuff, the filing and so on that has to be done, we call it the bread and butter of accounting, um, probably has to be based on you know hourly rates and so on and that's fine. But there's the value added stuff, the wealth management, the pensions, the tax advice, consultancy, a lot of those areas, there are opportunities there. Now I appreciate, excuse me, smaller practices may not offer that range of services, but there's other opportunities for those smaller practices. But the bigger ones who do certainly have an opportunity with value premium. Now the fourth area we do is affect direct response marketing. The likes of that is doing webinars, pay-per-click, email marketing, direct responses where you're doing something and you get a response from people who are interested. So it could be prospects, it could be sales, whatever. It's the opposite of social media, okay? You're doing stuff on social media might be fine for branding, but you're unlikely to get too much work from it. The stuff we do is, is effective, it's targeted, it's very effective. We know what works for accountants, simple as. And the fifth area is what I call trusted advisor relationship. You know, accountants are in one of the most unique positions of all businesses. 
you know, as an accountant, you have a relationship with your clients that nobody else has. Because of the nature, you're the main person advice doing their accounts, advising them and so on. And, you know, I, I see it from both sides of the fence. I work with a lot of accountants and I also work with businesses and I can see the relationship. And quite often when a business has any major decision to make about taking on staff, buying equipment, moving premises, all that kind of thing, the first thing they'll do is they'll pick up the phone and talk to their accountant. So you've got a unique relationship with your clients that there's no other business has it. You know, before I used to think bank managers, bank bank managers had it, but we all know what's happened in recent years, right? They've blown that one to kingdom come. So you're left as the main trusted advisor with businesses. And that's a unique relationship. And I think there's lots of opportunities for you as an accountant to develop and nurture and grow that relationship and use it to help your business grow and help your client's business grow. And again, it's totally untapped. Um, and that's the fifth element that we focus on in the work we do with accountants. Now, here's the example I mentioned earlier on. I see this type of thing all the time. So here's a client I'm working with at the moment. Now, a few years ago, even, I think it was about four years ago, their sales were 300,000, the client, and their accountant bill was 3,000. Now, now their sales are up at 2 million euros and their accounting bill is 5,000. Now, I look at this business and they need management accounts, okay? They must minimize their tax bill. They need pension advice. There's opportunity for them to get tax rebates because they've developed their own unique product and there's tax rebates that they can get for that work. They need cash flow forecasts. Now I'm looking at this and I'm the one telling this business that they need all this. Now I'm looking at this going, why am I, why am I the consultant telling these people that they need? So their accountant bill should be somewhere between 10 and 20,000 per annum because this company is at the level that they need a much higher level of support from their accountant than they were getting, than they needed four years ago. And why are they not getting it? They're not getting it because their accountant is sitting in the office doing the same thing for them now as he was doing four years ago. Now, that business has grown six, sevenfold, almost sevenfold in the last four years. And that accountant is giving them the same level of service almost now that they got before. He is missing a huge opportunity. Now, ironically, his business is going to grow because I can see that this business, the owners of this business need much better information than they have at the moment. So indirectly, I'm going to help this guy grow his business, okay? And he's going to get more, a lot more business. His fees will go up. But why is it happening? Because I'm going in there and seeing the need this guy should be doing it. So here's my one big tip for you all as accountants. Look at that example and ask yourself, do you have clients like that as well? So what I'd encourage you to do is go back to your client, look through your client lists and look at the, the level of fees you have and look at the turnover and the sales of those businesses and look for the ones like this where you have a smallish fee and the company have a much higher level of sales because there's a very good chance that you should be providing them with a lot more services as in management accounts, tax advice, and so on that they're not getting at the moment. And think about it, this is pure win-win, okay? Because the business, when they get to a certain stage, my philosophy is that business needs a better level of service. They need better information on a monthly basis to manage the business and plan. Uh, monthly management accounts, cash flow forecasts, all that type of thing. So you probably have a big opportunity. So there's my, uh, maybe your, your big, my big tip for you from this um, is to go and do that. And you could have extra fees. They're sitting on the table that you're not maximizing. Okay, let's move on. 80-20. So most people have heard of the term 80-20, but they don't really appreciate how it influences their lives and the profits of their business. So here's a quick review of 80-20. The Pareto Principle says that roughly 80% of effects come from 20% of causes. Now, this applies to almost every scenario in life. Okay, so 20% of effort gives us 80% of results. Now, in business terms, this means that if you, as an accountancy practice, have 100 clients, then 80% of your fees are coming from 20% of your clients. 
Yeah. Now, 80-20 applies to distribution of wealth by individual, by country. It applies to distribution of people. 80% of people live in 20% of the cities. 20% uh, of criminals commit 80% of the crimes. It applies to the, the clothes you wear. You know, we, we all have favourite items of clothing. We wear over and over again. Lots of stuff never gets worn. 80-20 applies to clothes. 80% of the cars are driven on 20% of the roads. That's why all the lovely country roads have very little traffic on them. And 20% of the beer drinkers drink 80% of the beer. There's Norm from Cheers. I'm sure none of you are in that category. So 80-20 is a natural law. Uh, I often say it's like gravity. And people people ask me, does 80-20 apply to my business? And I often say to them tongue in cheek, well, does gravity apply to you? And they go, yes. And I'd say, well, 80-20 applies to you as well because gravity is a natural law and 80-20 is a natural law. So, in business terms, so 20% of your customers generate 80% of your fees, roughly, okay? If you go and look at the numbers, the very first time I did this, uh, years and years ago, 80-20, the, the way it came out was three of the clients were giving us 91%. So, it was less than 10% of the customers were giving us just over 90% of the profit. So it's a term used to describe um, the scale of it, not the actual numbers. So it won't always be 80-20, but what it does say is that a smallish number of your clients will generate most of your fees. That is what it's saying. But of course, the opposite is also true, that you have a big chunk of clients who are only giving you a small percentage of your fees. And look, I'm sure you know this already anyway, but it's amazing when you go and work it out. So 80% of your fees come from 20% of your services. Okay, so this opportunity, okay. So what we're doing is we're looking to work with accountants who have what we term a big profit gap and have the potential for dramatic increase in fees and profits without the need for getting any new clients. Imagine that, just think about that. Imagine that for a moment, you could stop worrying about getting new clients and focus on maximizing your recoveries, doing your 80-20, doing a bit of marketing, your value premium, and tapping into that trusted advisor position, that unique position that you have, that no, no other business out there has it, you have it. So it's tapping into that, okay? So again, this is the profit gap. The profit gap is the difference between your current profits and the profits that the practice should and could be making. Now, if you look underneath, I've actually graphed it for an accountancy practice I worked with recently. Now, if you look at the bottom, this was their profit levels uh, the previous year. You can see it there, the profit levels graphed along for six months and above the line is the profit levels for the last six months after we started applying all this thing. And there's a massive improvement. And that case is about 18 or 20,000 um, extra fees and profit per month. I mean, that is pretty amazing to have that. And of course, this isn't a one-off hit, okay? Once you get your fees up and your profits up, you should have that every year for years and years to come. So then the biggest problem is that most accountants do not even know that they have a profit gap. Like most other business owners, they're just not aware of it. Okay, so 80% of your profits come from 20% of your customers. Uh, you can see it there again. So a significant percentage of your customers actually gener generate a loss. And, you know, it can be difficult at times, but... Uh, a couple of the accountants I've worked with, what we've had to do is we'd say we move them up or move them out. So it often means if somebody's paying you 700 a year, 800 a year, when you go and work it out, you say it's just not worth it. So what you do is you look to, sometimes you look to double their fees or treble them. Now quite often is some people will pay, but most won't, but you can free up resources and you can focus on really looking after the A clients, improving your recoveries and doing all the other, the, the five approaches I mentioned earlier on. So, okay, pre-80-20. Now, this is a graph of uh, a practice, um, and we're saying that we, we there's about 100 uh, clients they had. So on the left-hand side, you can see two groups accounting for about 20% of their profits. And over on the right-hand side, there's a bunch of them who are losing money. They're below the line. Now, that's pre-80-20. Now, let's look at post-80-20, which is about 12 months down the road. The first thing we can notice is that the first two clients were far more profitable we detracted three and four new profitable clients, and on the right hand side, all the all the, the loss makers were gone. 
Okay, so where to begin? Now it's at this point that most people say, yeah, but, um, and I'm not saying it, but you know, some people would say that accountants, you're a conservative bunch. Um, you know, it can be at times, let's be fair about it. So at this point, most people say, yeah, but. So most accountants do not even know that they have a profit gap and therefore have no idea how big it is. Okay, so every accounting business I've ever worked with, they all had a profit gap. So what I'm saying to you is that there's a very high profitability that your business has a profit gap too. That's the bad news. Okay, what's the good news? <laughs> the good news is that your business has a profit gap because if you didn't, there's nothing we could do about it. But if, if there's a gap in there of maybe 50,000 or 100,000 or 200,000 or even more, then um, you know we can work with you on this. So there are some of the results I mentioned recently where we've got businesses increases of 114,000, 236,000, 417,000 extra profit every year. And pretty, they are amazing results. They really and truly are amazing results. So now who is this not for, okay? Now it's not for people who don't want to look at new ways to increase their profits and are satisfied with it. If you're happy with the status quo, you might say, yeah, that sounds great, but no, not for me. That's fine. Practices who do not provide unique value to their customers and to their clients. And it's not for people who have a commodity product and have a lot of competition. Okay, it's not for you. Now, who this is for, okay, it's for accountants who are open to learning new ways to improve the fees and grow your profits. I would say you must have a unique service. You must give really good service and maybe do something a little bit unique or something different. Have a strong USP, unique selling point, and provide great value to your customers and to your clients. Okay, so how this process works is that traditional accounting reporting does not uncover these numbers. It simply doesn't. That's no criticism. That's just the reality of it. That's that's why we've developed our 80-20 and our profit gap and all our templates and our systems because it's like putting on a different pair of glasses and looking at a business and seeing all these opportunities to grow profits and fees. Okay, so how this thing works is we conduct a preliminary analysis of your business to determine if there is a significant profit gap. Okay, after that we conduct a detailed analysis of your business using an 80-20 lens to find the areas that will create the most significant increases in your fees and in your profits. And then we work with you hands-on to implement proven strategies to put those increased profits and fees into your bank account. Guys, this is all about profits. I don't focus on growing sales, necessarily new clients. No, I focus on getting more fees and profits from your existing clients, your existing clients, okay? So, oops, gone the wrong way. So ready to get started. If you are, you can hit the button underneath and apply for a strategy session and we'll talk very soon. Now what happens next, okay? We'll review your application. If we feel your practice has a, a big profit gap and has the criteria to increase profits significantly, we will contact you and provide you with additional data that we'll ask you to fill in so that we can do a preliminary profit gap analysis of your practice. Okay, we'll do the preliminary analysis and then schedule a private one-to-one -one strategy session with you on the phone. Now, during the session, what we'll, what I want to do and what we want to do is learn more about your business, what's unique, this is really, really important, what's unique about your business, your goals, and if the fit is right and if we can help you. That's the whole purpose of the analysis and the phone call is to find out if you're the right fit for us and if we're the right fit for you. Okay, there's obviously no obligation with, uh, with that call or with that analysis. Okay, so we are 100% committed to working with people who, who, where the fit is right. Okay, you see, we only get paid on results. So the fit has to be right. It has to be the right scale. There has to be the right size of business and there have, has to be the opportunities there for us to invest the time in this because we need to make certain improvements in terms of fees and profits to justify our fees we have to go your fees by a certain amount to make the whole thing work now as you can imagine there's a lot of work involved in setting up new clients so at the moment we're looking to take on three new clients and three new accountants at the moment so um if you're not a good fit look we we'll, we'll guide you to some different resources we know out there um and that's why we want to talk to everybody one-to-one -one. okay 
So many times at the end of presentations like this, you're told um, there's no risk to you, it's risk free and so on. But that's not true, okay? Because you risk leaving hundreds of thousands of hidden fees and profits in your business if you don't do our analysis, if you don't at least look at it. And, you know, I often say to people, look, you owe it to yourself to at least take a look at this and see, look, is there profits sitting on the table? Are there profits going down the drain? Do I want to do something about it? It. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm just about to wrap up. So I would love to talk to you one to one. Remember, there's no cost. There's no obligation. I uh, just love to have a chat with you to see are there opportunities in your business to grow your profits and grow your sales and increase your fees. So look, my contact details are there. You can email me, neil at quantum.ie. My website is quantum.ie. Mobile number is 086-3644-668. Um, thanks very much for listening and talk soon.